Pro-choice advocates aren't wasting any time now fighting back against Iowa's new abortion ban. It was passed by the Republican-led House and Senate in a single-day special session on Tuesday. Groups like Planned Parenthood and the ACLU have already gone to the courts to block the bill from becoming law. ABC 6 News reporter Jordan Sampson joins us live now from the newsroom. And Jordan, it's starting to feel like 2018 all over again. Robin, this is exactly what happened in 2018 when Republican lawmakers in Iowa passed nearly identical legislation. Opinions remain strong on both sides, but there is one key difference between then and now. Plant Parenthood and the Iowa ACLU wasted no time in filing the lawsuit to block Iowa's six-week abortion ban. Repeating their actions in 2018, they hope for the same result. They believe the bill violates the rights of Iowans. Every day that the law is in effect, Iowans will face life-threatening barriers to getting desperately needed medical care. Governor Reynolds, who launched a special session to get the bill passed, says she'll sign the bill into law Friday. It's what groups like Iowa Right to Life have been hoping for. They're not surprised the ban is being challenged. We're going to be optimistic. We're going to hope that the heartbeat bill is enforced even if it goes through the judicial process. The difference between now and 2018 is the groundbreaking move by the Supreme Court last year overturning Roe versus Wade. Both sides say the future remains uncertain. Right now, we just we want to um, celebrate right now, even though it was a victory, but not get too overconfident, right? Because we know that there's some work ahead of us. Planned Parenthood and the ACLU are being proactive. The legal challenge today asks for a temporary injunction. If granted, it would prevent the new ban from being enforced. We're committed to this fight to protect Iowans' reproductive freedom and ability to make what should be private medical decisions between a person, their doctor, their family, and their faith. Governor Reynolds plans to sign the bill Friday afternoon. It would take effect immediately unless the court grants temporary injunction, but it's unclear when that decision will be made. James and Robin. Yeah, and Jordan, what options would Iowans have if the ban is enforced? Yeah, James, Ruth Richardson from Planned Parenthood Central State said they have patient navigators to help them find places where they can get an abortion. In fact, she told me that they saw a 200% increase in Iowans traveling to Minnesota, James and Robin.